Hey everybody. Hey, hey, it's Jen here. And look at me, I'm leaning up against an ancient tree, like ancient tree. I don't know how healthy it is, but it's an ancient tree. And why am I doing this? Because I wanted to show you that it's, I don't just say stuff on my angel card readings and not do them myself. I will say this to my Project Soul Shine tribe. I will say this to my um, Project Soul Shine customers and clients that I will never ask you to do something that either I'm not currently doing or that I haven't done before. So when I say sometimes you got to get grounded by going outside, I mean it. Look at it's snowing here. It's snowing. Yesterday it was like spring. It was like freaking 50 something. It was nice. Today we're back to snow and clouds. So <laughs> um, I'm grounding against a tree. I said that after last night, you guys felt all the cosmic shifts, all the crazy chaotic energy, the solar flares, blue moon, mercury retrograde. What else do we have? <laughs> you name it, right? And it was the time to feel all the feels. And I certainly did. I spent um, a part of this weekend, I shed more than one tear over things I hadn't thought about in years. And why? Because sometimes we take a, a close look and I think the energetic shifts cause us to do this. I truly believe, I mean, this is legit, legit, um, cause us to look at things that are still lingering in our lives. Even if we thought we got over it, even if we thought we processed it, or just maybe we didn't even take the time to process it. We're like, suck it up, pull yourself up by the bootstraps and just move forward. That's the way I used to be. Okay. Um, I used to deny all the feels because I thought, um, you know, I'm an only child, I'm a Leo, I'm strong baby. So I just got to like push through it. And you know what happens is, um, they end up showing up again. We end up needing to be taught the lessons over and over again until we truly process it and, and really move forward and take the lesson. So I, I said, all right, where these things are coming up out of nowhere right now. So what's going on? That means that I have to honestly look at myself and say, where are the patterns in my life? Where is this still showing up? And you might not even realize it consciously where some of the things you went through in your past still show up in your lives. It may show up in the way that you treat your spouse or that your partner or you treat yourself. For example, are you not either being the best partner you can be um, and having somebody pay for mistakes that somebody else made, even the, in the most subtle ways, okay? Sometimes we don't mean to. Like, I'm not saying you're being mean, cruel, or like deliberately just, you know, deliberately nasty or anything. I'm just saying, or deliberately like malicious. I'm saying sometimes it's in the subtle ways we behave, in the ways we think that really torture ourselves in our relationships. Maybe it's the way we treat our bodies and like not being as healthy as we could. Um, maybe it's in our careers when we don't show up as powerfully as we could. Um, maybe even in relationships, we don't allow ourselves to be loved. Somebody's there who's completely offering us a healthy relationship and we hold back. Why? Because of something that's still showing up from another relationship or another situation that happened to us before when we were hurt, when, you know, we didn't feel good enough and it's still showing up. So when we come across these kind of flares and these kind of cosmic shifts and this crazy chaotic ups and downs, I say, you know, feel all the feels, be willing to look at it. And, but, okay, but there's going to be a little caveat to this. Absolutely feel it, but then not live there. See, that's the key. Like, you know, you could choose because happy, let me back up a little bit. Every day you wake up, right? And you have another chance to create your best life. Every day you get another chance. So I start the day with that, you know, that gratitude, right? And then you, we have a choice on how we're going to view this day. We have a choice. I could, I could have looked at the weather today and been like, ugh, you know, it's snowing again. This sucks. It's cold. I wanted to go out and go to the beach. Yesterday was beautiful. That means I'm going to get wet. That means I'm going to be cold. That means, or if you're going to work, that means there's going to be traffic. That means I'm going to be late. Like all the things. Uh, we go down that rabbit hole. And what happens when you do that is I guarantee, I can almost guarantee you that's how your day is going to go. If you think like that, that's how your day is going to go. Um, so every day we have this choice. I could say, oh, it's still chaotic. Like we're still in Mercury retrograde. I don't even want to turn on my computer. I'm just going to stay in this place, to stay in this abyss of chaotic feelings and emotion and regret and feeling like, you know, wallowing in what I did do or didn't do. And today I felt like, you know, like we can still make that choice. Even when we go through cosmic shifts, even when the, earth, the universe is going crazy, I can still choose that this day 
is going to be one of the best ever. I can choose that I'm going to put myself one step closer to the life of my dreams. I can choose, see I'm grounding myself, and I'm also gonna choose to ground myself. Even if I can't go to the beach and stick my toes in the sand, you know I'm gonna lean up against this tree. I'm becoming a tree hugger literally right now, see? That's right, that's all it takes is a little bit of grounding, a little bit of connecting with nature. Connect with what is. What is real is nature, what that's real. Um, All the stuff that we come up with in our head as to why we can't, why this sucks, why do these things keep happening, why I, I can't find the right relationship, why I can't find the right job, why I'm not getting ahead in my life, why is that person ahead of me? It's all an illusion made up in our head. Um, and so all I'm saying today is I want you to set yourself up. I want you to make, you know, make that choice. You know, every time that you wake up and you, you're grateful for another day, you know, how, how are you going to see the current circumstances as they are? How are you going to see that? (sighs) Hey, everybody, you manifest your mindset. Damn right, Olivia. It's so true. It's so true. You know, feel, and I say, you know, feel all the feels. Like, go through. When you Don't deny, you know, what's coming up for you. Don't deny that. You know, cry, scream, kick, you know, whatever you have to do. Curse out somebody. Whatever you have to do to kind of process that because that's the only way you're going to be free and move forward is to process and then release. Process and release. Ground yourself, get back to that space. I, from ye- after yesterday, I needed to ground myself, um, and I'm doing this today. And I feel like sometimes we go through these cosmic cleanses. We go through these emotional cleanses. We have to. It's like, you know, I mean, going through a body cleanse, a nutritional cleanse, a parasite cleanse. Ever do that? Where, you know, you have to, you go, you, you get really put things in your body to expel all of the bad stuff. You detox it out and sometimes that feels like shit. Like you cry and you feel like you have the flu and you don't want to move and your muscles hurt. But then at the end, you kind of come to a place where you, there's this moment where all of a sudden you feel freaking amazing. Where like the clouds part and the sun peeks through and you start to feel better and then you're like, oh my God, everything's so clear and my energy's back. But that doesn't mean that like, you know, you have to, doesn't mean you're never going to do another cleanse again. Sometimes they come back and you have to maintain and do another one. That's okay. It's totally okay. So anyways, I just wanted to come on here and share this with you that, you know, I want you to go through this cosmic shifts, go through what, what's happening right now, acknowledge it, nurture yourself, honor yourself. But then, you know, choose, when, when is that going to be that breakthrough moment with you or for you? When you've gone through the cleansing, you know, you felt the pain, and then you're going to break through where the sun is peeking through the clouds right now, where the clarity comes, where the energy comes. And you see that, wow, I can get through this. The worst is behind me. And what am I going to do now? You know, so that's, that's awesome. Um, yes. Retro Linda. I just posted this to my tribe. Retrograde is pushing us all forward. It is. It is. And you know what? It's such perfect timing. It's always perfect timing. This to me is getting me so ready to do my soul warrior cleanse and on May 5th. This is ready for my group. I need to be there. I'm going to show up and give you my best. Because if I can help you get through this in your life, if I can help shorten your learning curve, if I can help you see your amazingness and your awesomeness and pull that out in you so that you see it too, and that you can finally kick all this, you can really kick all these negative thought patterns, you can kick these toxic things to the curb, right? And make it so that you feel awesome every day, then damn right, I'm gonna be there for you. So that means I'm gonna do the work too. You know, that's, I'm right there with you, I'm human. Okay, so um, by the way, speaking of that cleanse, if you're not in my group, go to um, Soul Warrior Cleanse with Jen Rapinion. I'm gonna put the link in the comments. And join us, join us. My, my mission is to help 1,111 souls with this program and maybe even beyond that. But that's right now, that's my first goal because I feel like it's such important work. It's so needed and we've been shown this through this retrograde period that we still have stuff we need to process. We're still not done yet and we still deserve to go into the next phase of our life. It's time to up level, it's time to up level. Um, so that's it. So join me. Love to have you. You have friends who need this too? Invite them. Totally. Um, any questions you can ask me too. But that's really all I'm saying today. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. I'm sitting here with my friend, the tree. This ancient, beautiful tree. Majestic as it is. And I'm grounding. Ah, And then now I'm going to go walking. So 
Love you all. I hope this helped you today. Leave me any comments or questions. I'm here for you. And I'll put a link to my Soul Warrior Cleanse group. And by the way, this is a program. It is super, super, super cheap. Like frighteningly cheap. You get me for 30 days coming at you, helping you deprogram some stuff and reprogram with the good stuff for like less than a cup of coffee a day. I mean, you got it. Come on now. Let's do this. 2018, it's the year of transformation. It's all over the place in this in this country, in the United States, in this world. We're ready. And we need to answer the call, baby. All right, I will see y'all later. Love you.